everybody, welcome to Ticket Stuff. I'm your host, Patricia Kane. Well, it's been a while since we've last seen Jamie Foxx on the big screen, and I hear that his latest film will leave a lasting impression on moviegoers. Pepsi setbacks. Me too. Foxx stars opposite Robert Downey Jr. in the heartwarming drama, The Soloist. The film is based on the true story of Nathaniel Ayers, a musical prodigy who becomes schizophrenic and lives homeless on the streets of Los Angeles. Come on, you can do it. Now, Fox has a knack for playing eccentric geniuses. You may remember him in the 2004 film Ray, in which he played the legendary rhythm and blues musician Ray Charles. Fox walked away with an Academy Award for Best Actor in 2005. Co-star Robert Downey Jr. has been the man to watch, as 2008 has been one of the best years of his movie career. Downey Jr. proved to Hollywood that he could do a big blockbuster film by kicking off the summer movie season as the comic book action hero, Iron Man. He also made a cameo appearance as Iron Man's alter ego, Tony Stark, in the film The Incredible Hulk. And Robert closed the summer box office season with a bang, starring in the action comedy, Tropic Thunder. Robert Downey Jr. and Jamie Foxx are a perfect combination in this very human drama. Unfortunately, fans, you're gonna have to wait a little while longer as the film won't be released until March 2009. Here's a preview of The Soloist. I'm not asking for sympathy. Scratch that. Nathaniel Anthony Ayers Jr. You only got two strings. Pepsi setbacks. Me too. Uh, hi, this is Steve Lopez from the LA Times. I'm calling to see if Nathaniel Ayers attended your school. He was the most gifted kid I've ever met. I'm going to write a column about Nathaniel. People heard that you were just playing with two strings. Some of them thought you might want something better to work with. I can't cover that. It's a gift. What does he have? Schizophrenia? Are oh, you flying that plane? No, I'm right here. I'm not always so sure what's going on. He has no idea what he's saying. What's with Neil Diamond? Uh, I thought that was you. Your friend is downstairs. I don't want to take full responsibility. Oh, by all means, avoid full responsibility. He's sick and he needs a psychiatric hospital. Don't you just keep on you? <laughs> Then he has one thing going for him. Until you use me a, a friend. Come on, you can do it. A year ago, I met a man who was down on his luck. Man, he's got a gift. I thought I might be able to help him. Are you out of your mind? Witnessing his courage. His humility. Do you think I could be good again? In the power of his art. And I've never loved anything the way that he loves music. Being his friend will carry you home. I'm the closest thing to family he has. We take care of each other. We look after each other. 